guys, it's Jay. So today I am going to be cleaning and decluttering these bookshelves. We've gotten more books, we've run out of some room, I need to get rid of some things, and I thought I would film and show you guys what it looks like. I'm very proud of these shelves. My husband and I um, built and installed them, stained the boards the whole night. So I'm going to show you guys kind of what it looks like right now. I haven't like tidied it up or anything, it's kind of a mess, and you'll see what I mean about it needing to be kind of decluttered and reorganized. This is what it looks like at the moment. A little too much going on. I need to get rid of some board games, some of the puzzles, rearrange a few things. We have a lot of books. And we actually have another little bookshelf over here that my husband built. Don't mind the incubator. It's going to make a noise in the background the whole time, but that's all right. Um, so you can see, it, they just they need to tidy up and a bit of a rearrange. Just a little bit of help. And I've got some ideas of what I'm going to do. The water... I don't know that I have anywhere else to put it. We keep extra water because we live out in the country and we do have multiple power outages a year and you know with four kids plus we have lots of outdoor animals. We like to keep some water on hand for when that happens. But we have a lot going on here so I'm going to get started. Grab some things off. I'm not taking off everything. Most of these books are going to stay put. I'm mostly focusing on this area over here today to rearrange it, give us some more room for the books to kind of eke on over. So I'm going to get started.
Okay, it's all finished. I got everything dusted and organized and things moved that I wanted to get moved. We did some of this stuff up there. Still not 100% sure that I love it, but it will be fine. So I moved <clears throat> the... I just basically flipped the games and the puzzles. So I put the puzzles down here and the games over here. We access the games more. So puzzles over there. There's not a lot I can do about the cords right now. Um, we need to make a hole in the shelf that runs straight down so that the cords aren't coming off the front and we need to order like a piece to fit in for that. We've had these shelves done for many months and we just haven't gotten around to doing it because this hasn't really been an issue other than I just don't like the way that it looks. Okay, do your kids do this? My kids, well, instead of putting a DVD away, they'll like shove it between two of the cases. So as I'm like rearranging DVDs, I'll like pull one out and a DVD will come shooting out at me. <laughs> so I've got to organize it. I've tried to break them of this habit for many years. And if you guys are struggling with getting your kids to put their books away, my kids, we get these paint stirrer sticks. When they pull a book out, they put the stirrer stick where the book came from so that when they're done with that book, they've got to bring it back and put it away and then they can move their paint stirrer stick to the next book. So you can see I've got a few on the shelf with kids have their books out and then there's the spares in there. I do occasionally allow two books out at a time, but usually they're only allowed to have one. Anyway, what do you think? Does it look better? tidier. I did get rid of a few things. I would purge books, but honestly, that is just, it's not, it doesn't go well at our house. We read a lot of books and we keep a lot of books. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good week. I hope that this inspired you to go dust and organize your bookshelves. I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.